take a minute and talk about vehicles and vehicle ownership. Now, of course, if somebody has plenty of money, then this really doesn't apply to them. Um, I drive a uh, 2005 2500 HD GMC pickup. And in the summer months, I drive a 1989 C2500 two-wheel drive pickup. That was my uncle's. Um, had never been driven in the wintertime. So it's uh, in basically pristine condition. Um, and that's what I have. That's uh, the, the 2500 HD I've owned for over 10 years now. Um, and, you know, when I need to do repair work to it, <clears throat> a lot of times people will say, well, geez, you know, why don't you just go buy a new truck? Well, yeah, if I had sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 to buy a replacement equivalent vehicle, then I would probably do that. Um, but as a average homeowner, um, husband, family guy, there's no way I could swing that. So I choose to maintain uh, my vehicles. Um, I put money into them when there needs to be something that's fixed. Uh, you know, for instance, if, if you don't have a vehicle payment, if this is you and you don't have a vehicle payment and, you know, your car or truck needs $2,500 or $3,000 worth of repairs, um, then you should ask your mechanic or if you do the work yourself, you should ask yourself, you know, how long is this repair going to last? And if it's longer than what a new vehicle payment would be, which some of them are seven, eight, nine thousand dollars, twelve hundred dollars a month, depending on how long your term is, you need to drive your car or truck that long in order to pay for itself. So this is where I think that people there's sort of like a disconnect of uh, you know what's feasible to put into a used vehicle um you know of course i'd love a brand new truck i would love it you know my truck is very stripped down basic uh no power windows no power door locks you know it's a work truck it, it does what i need it to do it's it has a plow um it um it gets me where i need to go if I need to put money into it, I'll put money into it. If I need to work on it, then I'll work on it. Um, I just, I can't, I don't understand why people, if, if they have a vehicle that's been very, very, very reliable and then they need to put $3,000 into it, automatically they just, oh, we're gonna go buy a new, gotta go buy a new car, gotta go buy a new truck. So you're paying for the vehicle, plus you're paying for the interest. Which is, the, the interest is, I mean, your, your vehicle is already just a complete loss. As soon as you drive it off the lot, let's say you buy a new vehicle, as soon as you drive it off the lot, you're already upside down in your loan. You, you haven't even owned the vehicle for 20 minutes and you're already upside down. You know, so what kind of financial sense does that make? Um, mid to me, it doesn't make any sense. So, uh, you know, again, if you like new things and you want new vehicles and that's what you like, I have friends and I have family that are like that and, that, and that's fine. But I'm just, I just wanted to make this point as a, uh, on a financial standpoint that um, a vehicle is just a, the, the, it's the worst investment that you can make. Now, if you buy an old antique vehicle and it appreciates in value, then that's good. That means that's money in, in, in the bank for you. Um, you know, you can say, uh, you know, buying a tractor. Well, a tractor doesn't depreciate as fast as a vehicle does. Uh, you know, 
use tractors, they still get decent money for them. Um, although used trucks and used cars, they still get decent money for them. And you don't always know what you're buying. Are you buying somebody else's problem? Uh, you know, how do you know that this vehicle doesn't have an issue with it and they're just trying to pass it on to the next person? You have no idea. It could be a trade-in and that's, you know, wholesaled out, bought by an independent uh, dealer. They mark it up, they sell it. Well, you know, how do you know that there's not problems with it? Yeah, there's warranties, but what are those warranties worth? So this is just a little video of uh, just my opinion on vehicles. Um, I'm very frugal when it comes to vehicles. I think they're a very poor investment. I think that, uh, you know, you probably should never buy a new vehicle because just because of the depreciation right off the lot. You know, as soon as you register it, as soon as you title it, as soon as you have it in your name, you might as well just, just the, the, the thousands of dollars right off the bat that's just uh, gone. And uh, how is that a good investment? Um, my thing is, is buy a vehicle, maintain it, put money into it each year, you know, set aside money, you know, you, you can set aside money for, you know, $800 a month for a vehicle payment or $1,000 a month for a vehicle payment. Well, set aside $300 a month for vehicle maintenance. And that'll last you, you know, your current vehicle will last you for a long time. And the other thing is, if you, if you live in the Rust Belt, undercoat it. Rust is a number one killer for vehicles here in the north. Salt, calcium chloride, um, whatever else they use to treat the roads, it is corrosive and it rots vehicles out like you would not believe. Um, even newer vehicles, four or five, six years old, need to have brake lines done. They need to have transmission lines done. They need to have fuel lines done because it just eats them. Um, so it's like by the time you get done paying off a new 10 year old truck or car, you already need to do body work on it because you know, it's, it's already, it's already rusted out. So that's just a little, uh, little video of my opinion. And, um, if you share the same opinions that I do, leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Um, like I said, I'd love a new vehicle. You know, if, if I had all kinds of money and, you know, money wasn't an issue, I'd go out tomorrow and buy a brand new truck. I'd buy two of them. But, you know, there's, I'd rather put the money towards other things uh, that are more useful to me. So, anyways, let me know what you think.